Problem number two, we're going to use the Ivy approach to solve this problem, and this is a typical two by two question. And as I said, we'll be using the Ivy approach, so we'll be dealing with the axioms as well as the local ratio method. So first we're going to draw a two by two table. So we're going to draw a line like this. There we go. And before we fill in this table, we're going to write down the axioms just for the sake of review. So the axioms were the fundamental set of rules we used to translate a question into a mathematical equation. So we had words such as what, and this translates into the symbol something. Remember, something is the answer we're trying to get in this question. Words like of translates into multiply, is into equal sign, and percent into 1 over 100. So these were the first axioms in the Ivy approach. Now in the first column, we're going to put bicycle, people who ride bicycles. Next column, people who don't ride any bicycle. On the first row, we're going to say put beverages. Second row, we're going to put people who don't have any beverages. Now we're going to say we're going to call the total 100t, 100 multiple, because this is a percentage problem and T from the related vocabulary, tourist. So we know that this area is 30% of, because 30% of tourists ride bicycles and have beverages. So we get 30 T here. And the second bit is 60% of tourists riding bicycles do not have beverages. Now you need to notice that we're not dealing with the total number of tourists, but a percentage of a part of the total. So this is what we call a local ratio, a portion of a portion. So it says if this is XT, people who ride bicycles without any beverages, then 30T is 40% and XT is 60% of the total. So 30T is 40% and XT is 60%. So again, we're not dealing with the total group or the total number of tourists, but we're dealing with the proportion of a group within the total. So 30T is 40% again, XT is 60%. So how do we get this? 30T to XT equals 40% to 60%. So we can get the value of x. So 30 to x equals 2 to 3. And if we compare the inner products and the outer products, 2x is 90 and x equals 45. So we got the value of x, which is 45. So xt is 45t. So if we add 30t and 45t, we get 75t. So the number of tourists riding bicycles is 75t. Then 100t minus 75t will be 25t. So 25t is the number of tourists who are not riding bicycles. Now, the final bit of the question was what percent, so what times percent, 1 over 100, of the total number of tourists, 100t equals people who are not riding bicycles, which was 25t. Then we can cross out the hundreds and cross out the t's. So we get something equals 25. And therefore, choice A, 25%, is our answer. So again, make sure you t can tell the difference between the total or the entire ratio and the local ratio as we dealt in this question. So a local ratio was a, the ratio of a portion within a portion or part within a part. 
so our answer for this question was choice a.